Hey Terry, what are you expecting from the Gemini man? Um, I don't know. Um, I really hope it's a great movie for Will Smith. Um, I did like um, Aladdin, which he was incredible in Aladdin, so I'm hoping that his success continues into this movie. Um, I didn't read anything, I didn't watch anything, I just wanted to go in with a blank slate and just see how the movie was. So I'm really hoping that it's a really great movie. From the previews and everything that I, okay, I saw one preview, excuse me, I saw two previews, and from those two, I think it's going to be a really good movie for him. You can ask me a question? <laughs> okay, Mike, so Jim and I, man, we're here to see, and what is your expectation of it and some of the things that you may have heard about the movie? I have mixed feelings. Okay. Um, first of all, critics for Rotten Tomatoes, it's in the 20s. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the score? Yes, the score for Rotten Tomatoes was a 22. A 22, yeah, that 22. Is so low. 22 for, and then the audience, of course, was like an 88. Yes, the audience is 88, it was yeah. almost 90. So I'm going with that. I'm just disappointed though, because we just found out that the theater we're seeing it in, which is a 4D theater, mm -hmm. is not showing it in 3D. Right. And I read that you've got to see this movie in 3D because Ang, Ang Lee shot it in a whole new way. Mm -hmm. So I was really looking forward to seeing in this you know, new 3D that they were talking about. Right. Um, so that's not there. I'm a big fan of Will Smith. I'm a fan of Ang Lee. Uh, Life of Pi was his Oscar winning movie. Uh, so I'm going in for the fun of it. I know it's going to be a fun action movie. That's all I expect. Hey, Ron. What are you expecting from watching the Gemini Man today? I think they're both clones. We got it. Think you think they're both clones? Oh, so do I. You know yeah. what? I Yeah, I, I did also. There was a certain line in the oh, What preview. they did to us or something like that. Something like that, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I think Will Smith is a clone of Will Smith, which is a clone of Will Smith. All right. I think it's going to be a good movie overall, though. Uh, I'm getting like a huge Mission Impossible vibe from it. So there's definitely going to be a lot of action. I don't think there's going to be too much talking. I purposely didn't read any reviews or really watch any other previews other than what we've seen mm -hmm. during the times that we come to the movies. Just because I, I wanted to have an open mind too. And um, I, I like Will Smith as an actor and I like action movies. Good. So I'm expecting good things from Gemini Man. I am yeah, going to stick with the thing that I think he's a clone. So if he does turn out to be a clone, brownie uh, points. Gemini Man. My turn. Hey Ray. Hi. <laughs> what do you expect? That was creepy. <laughs> yes. What do you expect from the Gemini Man? Uh, Gemini Man. I'm a huge fan of Will Smith. He's definitely in my top five as an actor. What's so, your favorite Will Smith movie? I think I Am Legend. Okay. Uh, I Am Legend or uh, Five Pounds. The one that won Five Pounds. But anyway, he's a, definitely a favorite actor of mine. Um, what am I expecting? I'm expecting him to be do his normal thing of great acting. You know, I, Ang Lee is basically directing it, so I, from a lot of things that I did read, um, Ang Lee said that this role was specifically for him, mm -hmm. so that's a huge plus in my eyes if that is the case and he took it on, so I'm expecting that. I'm expecting a lot of action. Um, Plot-wise, I've kind of read, so I heard that the plot is not that strong, so I'm hoping that the acting and some of the supporting castmates that he has will kind of almost bring it alive and keep me entertained. Mm -hmm. So that's my spiel. Okay. I hope. That's a good Gemini. spiel. Is you. Hey, welcome to the Tall Table. I am your, well, I am one of your hosts, DJ Zion Seven. I am Ray. I'm Mike. They're on. And today, we just came back from watching Gemini Man. What do you guys think? 
Well, hell, I'll go first. Seems like I go first in you all these first, reviews. Honestly, it honestly. seems like that's so not up. So even why don't we situation. not have you go first? Mike, you go first. No, no, you Dayron go first, Mike. never goes first at all. You no, never. Neither do you. Yeah, go first. You're always last for our movie reviews. Yeah, that's very true. Not always last. Okay. <laughs> I do the editing. <laughs> what did you think of it? Uh, Gemini, man, I thought it was cool. I thought Will Smith was a clone himself at the beginning of the movie, which I got completely wrong. I thought everybody was clones and he was made in a lab, like some kind of lab baby, but clearly he he was not. He was the uh, the original from where the clones came. And then at other parts, I thought there was just a whole bunch of other clones. Like there was a gigantic army of clones in the movie and they were going to take over pretty much everything. But no, it just ended up being this small experiment that they um, they tried to do, and apparently the guy went rogue, and then everybody started finding about everything. It reminded me a little bit of Westworld, in a sense, like where everybody just kind of got self-aware. But um, other than that, I thought the movie was really well done. I liked how they made Will Smith look younger. I think they ended up using some kind of new technology where they green-screened his forehead or something like that. I remember seeing a few uh, things that they did of it. And I'm not sure how much they spent making the movie i don't know the budget wise maybe one of the other guys i'm sure they know but um rotten tomatoes scored like in the 20s and a lot of review sites scored it really low i think critic had it like at a 2.5 i thought the movie was a good like at least 80 percent if we're going on 100 and a star wise it was like a good three and a half for me i enjoyed the action it wasn't too slow some of it reminded me of like uh mission impossible scenes especially when he got on the motorcycle so I enjoyed the movie. I'm going to give it a good three and a half and then just... That's a good solid. One of the That's other guys, I'm sure, will go for it. My turn. Yeah, your turn. Okay. okay. All right. So, my turn. Um, I have mixed feelings about the movie. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, I read that there was a um, amazing technology that Ang Lee, the director, was using for this movie. And some complaints were that it almost looked like a soap opera because it was so amazingly clear. Okay. So I, I really was looking forward to seeing the movie in that. Um, I wonder if he spent so much time with the technology that he didn't spend enough time with the story development. Because if I had a complaint, the story was everything that I thought it was going to be. There was not a single twist or turn or, wow, I can't believe that just happened. Um, and that's what I really enjoy the movie is when I can't predict what is going to happen. Um, I did predict everything that was going to happen with this movie. Even the second clone? Even the second. Uh, no, although in the previews they had said, what if you find out about us? Which I noticed wasn't in the movie, if you'll notice yeah, that. Yeah, that was not in the it movie. It wasn't, which is very, it's very common to see things in, in the trailers that they later edit out. Yeah, um, but... I just, there were some, there's a plot hole with it, and that is that in all the years of this mega corporation, they've only produced one clone, and then they produced another clone, apparently several years later. Did y'all see that he looked a little bit younger than the young clone? To me, he looked a little bit younger. Hmm. Um, he looked, I thought there were three different ages there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I could have sworn they worked on him to make him look even younger than he was. Uh, so I just found that a little bit hard to believe that all of the money and all the, all of the signs that they spent, um, they only did this twice. I find that a little bit hard to believe. Uh, but other than that, uh, I, was in, I was definitely entertained throughout the movie. Um, I wasn't disappointed by Will Smith. He's never disappointed me in any of his movies, honestly. Uh, I've always thought he was a very good actor. Uh, so uh, to me, I'm still going to give this a three and a half uh, because it's a good, solid B movie, and I think that's about a three and a half. Um, can I wait to see it outside of the theater? Yes, I can. I can wait until it's out on cable or out on actual download. Um, I don't have to go see it again in the theaters. Or, I, I mean, I don't recommend it to go see it in the theater. Um, oh, unless you can get one of those special 3D showings. If you've got a theater that's able to show you the movie in 3D, I think it would be fascinating to see it because, like I said, it's a whole new type of actual technology. Um, but other than that, it's a good, solid B movie. And I think that's, that's what it is. That's a good, that's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. I can definitely say it's a B movie. Myself, I will agree with both of you. I'm going to say about three and a half also. It was a simple story. Um, that's what I found of a simple story. They could have, they could have done a couple of things to improve on it, um, but 
it was really entertaining. Mm-hmm. It was like an hour and a half. I was entertained, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, it was a good movie for an hour and a half. It had very nice pacing. Yeah. But whenever you think of Will Smith, you always think of something big. And I was hoping that Gemini was going to be a very big movie for him. So it was just, it was just a little bit, it was a little bit above average. Mm-hmm. So that's about best I can say. So that's your three and a half? Minus three and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. There you go. So I guess I'm the closer. All right. So and you have nothing left to say, do you? No, I have a lot to say. <laughs> Um, you know, to start off, Will Smith, as I said early on, it was one of my top five. He's in the top five mm-hmm. as far as actors and stuff. And what I kind of find was so funny is you have so many different actors that go on hiatus and then they start doing multiple amount of projects. So he did Aladdin, then mm-hmm. he has this one, and now you have Bad Boys that will be coming out January yeah, it's amazing 2020. Out. So it seems like actors kind of do that. You know, I think where sometimes it happens with Will Smith is he does it. Because his acting is so great, and being that he has such a huge following, I think he feels as if he can kind of make boring story storylines and plots come alive, you know, and give that B rating and stuff like that. So I think that this is where this fell at with me was that you know he was a very very good actor. Um, the storyline was very predictable, as it was said, and you know the predictability is not kind of what I yearn from him to go ahead and get from from certain movies and stuff like that now going into the whole entire dynamic did i i guess my star system what did i give it as a star i'm like a two and a half three you mm-hmm. know I, yeah that's no, really I, where I, I was close to a three yeah I think it was really hard i was i'm two and a half and three i think because you know again he is whom he is i'll probably lean more to a three because i like him as an actor you know but um Overall, I think they spend a lot of the money into wrong components of things. You know, it's great that they end up seeing, you know, the you know, the split they were doing the green screen like De'Ron yeah, they were on certain things. Yeah, they did a things. brilliant so, job of that. Yeah, they did, they did. They mm-hmm. absolutely they did, yeah. but you know, could they have spent a little bit less of the budget all in that compared to plot a thickening in the plot? I absolutely think it should it would have been and it would have definitely given me a Maybe three and a half better movie. Yes. Yeah. So I would say, you know, me, about a two and a half, three stars. Um, just to go ahead and thing, I know, Mike, you do the, the whole thing, I'd say, so that we have clarity, a three star. Um, you know, and it, the thing is, is would I say go see it? Absolutely, yes. I'm all about supporting actors, movies, people that put their craft into doing certain things because guess what? I can't do it. So therefore, who am I to go ahead and slam you for mm-hmm. some sort of acting ability that I can't go in and do. So I, I would say, yes, is it a movie to go see? Absolutely, yes. I, is, it a, is it more of a Netflix or a cable thing? Yeah, I'll probably watch it when, you know, two or three times to see if I caught missed something yeah. that I probably yeah. did in the initial movie. Mm-hmm. If you can go see it in 4D or IMAX or even a 3D, absolutely, yes. That's ideal. Spend extra money to definitely go ahead and do so with this because, again, the graphics, the uh, the, the uh, CG that they have going in on it is is awesome, and you know, you, so many times that you see people play one person, he's playing one person, and then and he's in the same screen, the, yeah, and then they, what really happens? Yeah, then what yeah. happens is you kind of look at little glitches as like, man, that doesn't look like his mouth. You usually mouth find something, you'll see something exactly. Yeah. So they basically iron that whole thing out. So I can appreciate you know his time under attention of doing that and giving it to the fans. So with me. Three, you know, well, I love you. You're the only reason why you got the damn three, for sure. But I'm going to go with a three. Definitely, 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 I would say it is worth going to see. Um, Rotten Tomatoes did score 22, but audiences did give it 88. So, therefore, they had the it was the entertainment fa- uh, factor that everyone has basically said on the panel. So, go with that, you know. So, that is my little spiel on Jim and I, man. Okay, I, I want to throw something right at you guys. Since we have Will Smith on the brain, of course I know you you're not gonna like this, but since we all didn't give it a five, a five star, mm-hmm. what is a five star Will Smith movie in your eyes? I Am Legend was really good for me. That's a five star. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I Am Legend or with me five pounds. That's I watched five pounds. That's mm-hmm. not. Yeah. I, did five you say you yeah, I've never pounds. seen it. I or like big or mm-hmm. collateral damage. Oh, collateral damage was good. Too. No, collateral beauty. 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 Yes. I didn't watch that either. Mm-hmm. That one's good. Yeah, he. Um, you know, in both of those movies, and even 
I am Legend. It was in my is in my one or two. It's, it goes back and forth between that because it show it was basically one of those things where he showed how strong of an actor he was because throughout the whole entire thing, well, the better half of the movie, it was just him and a dog. Yeah, and he was just trying mm-hmm. to go ahead and like yeah. he lost the fucking know, dog. He, he lost the dog. He lost right. his family. He had to watch his family leave. He saw like there was no life. So. Him as an actor to go ahead and go into a role of that magnitude and ve- and act his ass off, mm-hmm. I it was kudos to him. But mm-hmm. then in the same in the same breath, at five pounds, you know, you kind of you kind of look at it like you would have never thought a West Philly kid, which is funny, Mike, when he was born, a, and born and raised, <laughs> he, he he made reference to that in his movie. He was wearing a Philly's hat that, as well yes, too. Yes, yes. A oh, Philly yeah. kid that you know started with you know rapping and DJing, then went to you know, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You wouldn't have never thought that he had the depth to play build that type of role. Action, yeah, you probably can go ahead and do it. But the depth between, you know, I am Legend and Five Pounds, I feel as if that you know he kind of wooed me all the way over because it was something that was. people thought that he couldn't do or didn't have in him and pulled it off lawlessly. No. I, I knew that Will Smith was an incredible actor when he did the Six Degrees of Separation or something like that. It was a long time ago. Yeah. But it was, that was fresh off of him coming out of being the Fresh Prince. Oh, he was still in. That was his first movie, if I remember correctly. Okay. Okay. First or second. And he was still yeah. the Fresh Prince. Of and, he, and he showed his acting chops then and mm-hmm. I was like very impressed. And then the one where he was the, the caddy. Isn't that where the whole oh, bagger bands? Bagger bands. Bag, I like his bagger bands and he, too. And he, and yeah, he showed us something too. there too. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, so he's an incredible actor. So don't let this movie. I mean, it, we're not saying it's, it's a bad, bad movie. It's not a bad movie. It's, it's very entertaining. It very is. Entertaining. It's, it's going to give you the suspense and a little bit of action as well too. So therefore, it's like if you're looking to go to a movie. Yeah. This is definitely a movie you could just say, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. For but sure. for example, I Am Legend, which was another Will Smith movie that I really enjoyed that, that you're talking about. That was a movie that kept me on my seat as far as I never knew what was going to happen next. Right. Well, you know, as far as storyline. I Robot. I Robot's I Robot was good too. Uh, it's another, about that. Yeah, it's another great Will Smith movie. movie. Again, where I did not it's know scary. what was going to happen next. This one was just a predictable story. Predictable. That was my yes. only disappointment yes. because it's, it's it's a good movie otherwise, and, but not in the same league as a couple of these other movies. Yeah, you know that it's funny when you get Will Smith to go ahead and cast on whether the directors and stuff they yearn for these type of these type of people because I you know right before we we basically signed on and we start talking right now it came out on the thirteenth. He's done sixty million dollars worldwide. You know, out of that sixty million, thirty million of it is basically came within the United States, and then you know Canada is filling the filling the gaps for things. So there's still a, you know, people are coming out to actually see the movie. It's just not a blockbuster. It's just not the blockbuster. You know, whenever Will Smith releases a movie, it's usually the number one at the box office. Yes, regardless. Yes, of, it usually takes over whatever was number one. And right now, Joker is... And it would have been if Joker Joker really wasn't with Joker. And you know what's sad? Well, Adam's family beat it. For this week, week. Adam's family came out number two. Well, you know, this it, came out number three. and that's funny, it's timing, because of course you want to go ahead and have the movie come out, and of course you want to have the number one at the box office and stuff like that, but you know, with Joker, and now the Adams Family, and then you, you whatever. A family movie. Huh? A family movie. A family yeah. movie. It's going to be, that's going to be what the draw is of that. You know, you know what they say, the months of September and October are often for movies that weren't good enough to show in the summer of blockbusters, and yeah. some of these other time periods remember they have mm-hmm. really big, huge movies around the holidays. I get it. So, I, I understand why they submitted it now yeah. this time of year. Well, I wish that he would have put us out toward the summer. But yeah, so therefore, yeah, with me wrapping it up, again, yeah, it, it was a great I mean, it was a good movie. Like a I good. said, it was, it, we got a solid three and a half Three That's stars. a good movie. So it's a good movie to actually see, to go and you can even take kids to go see because mm-hmm. it wasn't any of that huge blood, gore, anything no else. Cursing. Anything, no, no cursing. That's really. so no cursing, really. No sexual actually, things. No. Yeah, so those that don't have babysitters. I think it's rated PG-13. Yeah, I was about to add that. I think so. Yeah. Those that don't have babysitters and stuff, don't. it's safe for you to go ahead and take yeah. the little ones kind of to it at that point. So no. I would post on that for sure. All right. How do we want to close out? <sighs> I guess we just close up saying, go see it. Take your ass to go see it. Go, especially, go see it, especially if you have the 3D. Yeah. 3D or even 4D. Yeah. What was the difference that we missed in the 3D? 
We will oh, never know because we was, didn't see it. It's just oh. from everything that I've read, it's a whole new type of 3D <laughs> that was so amazingly clear that you almost didn't need the glasses. And I, saw, I saw something of it. And I'm going to stop real quick. I know we're supposed to be wrapping this up, but that was one of the biggest things that you and I spoke about because Ang Lee did mm -hmm. shoot it a certain type of way, and most theaters were not able to go ahead and show it, and show it, it that in, way. And the vision that he had. And the it. vision that he had for yeah. it. So, yes, that was one of the biggest things. And I. Sales should have been a lot higher, but like I said, movie theaters couldn't. So therefore, I think this where we're at and what we actually saw was just the uh, okay, we got to get it out here moment. So let's, it wasn't let's even that it. much of a 4D experience. The, yeah, the seats no. didn't the move. Seats a lot. Barely moved, you know? It only hits you when he did a fight times. seat, yeah, yeah. fight yeah. scene, or, like or the motorcycle boat. scene, mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. But it didn't, it didn't jolt you like. Joker. Even with the Joker, we got more. I yeah. got more. From well, it. Joker, we weren't in 4D. We were in um, IMAX. I mean IMAX. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. I, what was the one that we? Nothing saw? should have been poking you in the Rambo. Back. Rambo. 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 That's what it was. Yes. So why didn't they have it in 3D? It's a 4D theater. That's I weird. know. That's yeah. why I was disappointed with that. Well, yeah. guess we'll never know. Nope. We'll never know. We'll never know. So, with that being said, guys, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You know, <laughs> subscribe for more. Subscribe yeah. for more, oh, and we're coming up with more content. You know what's really nice too? When you ring on the bell, it sends you an email every time that we upload the new the new video, so you see it. Yeah. So I think that's a convenient. Uh, lastly, nice. look at Instagram. I've been made to post things on Instagram. Me yes. too. Like, yep. Go yeah. like, go follow. We go are all, all posting on Instagram. Yes. So big thing is Instagram. It lets you know what's in our inner dark secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and also our dogs. And and our dogs. dogs. Yes. Yeah. So for sure. So with that being said, guys, we are gonna be signing off because we spoke too long. So yeah. with that being said, live your best life. Bye. And we're gone. Deuces. Dang, dang. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good.